Hello YouTube, something really cool just came in the mail today. It's this pencil sharpener, the Deli, and that's what we're going to cover in today's video. pulled this thing out of the package I was like man that is really cool now the reason I ordered this is it was mentioned in the comments by snackers one two three four and so a call out to snackers one two three four thanks a lot for mentioning this and it looks cool now in my past life and I'm talking about back in the 70s, I was uh, doing a lot in the world of photography. I had my own uh, development lab. I mean, a full-blown dark lab, a dark room lab with uh, uh, color analyzers and enlargers and trays and full-blown cabinets. And so, I mean, fantastic uh, dark room that I built onto my home and uh, just really was into uh, shooting pictures and developing uh, film. And of course, everything today is digital, kind of changes everything, and that's one reason why I don't do photography anymore, uh, at least not as a hobby. Now, like everyone else, you have your phone with you and you're click, 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 and, and that's it. But... I started way back when we had these really cool cameras and the top lifts up like this and you'd look down and you would you would shoot with a little lever now it's I guess it was over here because that's the way they're making this look like here I kind of thought it was here but you would press down on it and, and then click and it snaps back it was really really cool and then you would roll it to the next frame and Ah, brings back memories, but this is not a camera. This is a pencil sharpener. How cool is that? All right. Now, I know in the comments, I'm going to hear like, I can't believe I watched a guy get all excited about a pencil sharpener. <laughs> you know, when I was doing that video on the Q, um, the masterpiece, boy, the comments on there, very risque. Um, hopefully we don't, uh, we don't get those kind of comments in this video because not exactly the kind of thing I want to be talking about. The name of a pencil sharpener and sexual references, etc. Anyway, let's dig into this because this is what this video is about. So it says here, sweet memories. I like take a photograph it can leave a good memory uh english um kind of broken up a little bit there i like take a photograph this is definitely made um from well china it's a china it's chinese so uh give them a little leeway for the the kind of the poor english structure there i like take a photograph um i like two take a photograph it can well i don't know about leave a good memory um it's probably a different way of wording that anyway so this is the uh, card that came with this and uh has some instructions here i'm thinking i don't really need to read this except for it talks about this adjustment here which you see is in chinese we can get that to focus in there okay so if you can read what that is or that is you know what this does but I can tell you what this does because this kind of is explained right there it gives you either a blunt in oh, for a point that's what this 
here is, right? So that's kind of like what, um, where's that other pencil sharpener I did the other day? There we go, right here. This Dale or Dolly or whatever, you may remember that video. It has the same adjustment here where it goes from kind of a blunt end to a pointy end. I think the blunt end is kind of useless, but I guess somebody likes that. And now these instructions are kind of, I don't know, there I have to let you take a look at that for yourself. Let's take a look at the pencil sharpener. That's what we're here for, right? Let's look at the pencil sharpener. So this lever right here actually opens up the, uh, you push it in and it opens up the claws that are in here that grip the pencil. But you also notice that it has a wide hole which looks like it will accommodate these bigger pencils. And uh, sure enough, yeah, that fits that fits right in and actually looks like it'll even take even a wider pencil than that. And this is the big old Golden Bear Jumbo pencil. Pencil. So it looks like it'll take the 9XXB without a problem. So wow, that's great. Okay. So it also appears by looking inside that it may have doesn't have teeth. It looks like it has rubber wheel grips like three kind of rounded instead of a claw. So let's see what how this would work. Um, first off, I'm going to put this all the way to the left. I'm going to bet that all the way to the left is the point, but we'll find out. And here, this lens is the tray, and you can, it's so you can see it with inside the tray, um, your shavings. Really cool. That is really, really cool. The top doesn't open or anything, so that's pretty much as far as parts that kind of open and, and close is, is that bottom part. And then, of course, you can unscrew this when you need to clean it. There's the sharpener wheel and the whole insides there. So if you ever get anything caught in here, you can always pull this out. Very, very simple to do. And let's see if I can... I just finished saying it was very simple to do, and then I gotta wrestle this back in again. Let's see. Maybe I should go to a commercial break. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have a commercial break. Okay, there we go. So it's screwed in. And these are, looks like here, these are just screw holes here. All right, so we need to try with a pencil. Um, I know you guys aren't into violence of pencils, but I don't want to have too many new pencils sharpened, so I'm going to go ahead and just break this uh, Derwent Onyx, since it's not one of my favorite pencils. Oh! No! No! Oh! Right in front of everybody. Alright. So, let's see how well this does. So you you push in this part right here, you push this in, and then you put your pencil in there, and then you let that go, and it holds the pencil in, in, in place. Oh, look at that. And you know what? Notice it. Notice it's locked. It's locked into place. And that was that was the complaint I had with this that did not. But what I liked about the helix. See, that was cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. I'm going to push this all the way in. So you're going to push it all the way in and then all the way into that hole there to get that to sharpen. And let's go for it. Okay, one thing I notice is you don't have much clearance from this wheel to the bottom. So you really have to kind of hold it daintily on the end here because if you try to hold it like this, you're going to knuckle wrap right on the table, whereas these other ones seem to have much more clearance on the bottom there, as you can see. But these, this one here doesn't have, this doesn't have much clearance. Anyway, just a side note, let's push this out. All right. And that is a very nice point. 
Now, another thing to note is that it doesn't it doesn't put those little holes in the side of the pencil, which, like my black wings um, that I really uh, like to use because it's a luxury pencil. I don't like the fact that they these pencil sharpeners, these other ones, put holes in such a nice, beautiful pencil. This one here, I could care less, but uh, it doesn't because it has rubber grips, which is really a plus. And we already know that it's going to be able to do these bigger, thicker pencils. It's already sharpened, but uh, that works really good. Now, how does that compare point-wise to, let's say, the ultimate Helix A5. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to dig for another pencil. And let's see. All right, let's try this. Okay, so there's a big difference. This one here is the Helix. That one there is this Deli. So that's it's pretty clear that this gives you the long point. This gives you a standard point, not a long point. However, with that said though, uh, even though it's not a long point, the nice thing is, is this, not only does it look cool and would be really great to have on your shelf or wherever, you know, in plain sight because it's really good to look at, it also accommodates very thick pencils. The thickest one I have being this big old jumbo pencil from uh, Palomo, Pal Palomino Golden Bear. And this one will not accommodate these big pencils. And this one does have sharp teeth, whereas this one does not. It's like rubber. And I wish I could get the light to, to go in there. Okay. So you can see it's kind of like rubber. So. All right, I'm pushing a little button on the side there. So it looks like the rubber grips. Now see that's the way to go. That is really awesome. So if I need a hand crank that doesn't put holes in the side of my pencils and uh, accommodates even the thicker pencils, this is definitely uh, the best choice to go. As a matter of fact, I, I would rather use this than the, the Dolly one or the Dally. I forgot. Not quite sure how to pronounce this one. Dally, Dale, whatever. But um, this one has also the big hole too, but it also causes the little holes to uh, show up on the pencil there like that little divot right there see if you don't want that to be on your pencil from these uh, grips but anyway this is really this is really a nice addition to my collection I really love this pencil sharpener and so um, I really hope you like this review I don't know what else to say about it other than it's pretty awesome and uh, it's definitely going to get its use in uh, my art studio. So if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. 
and leave comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.